Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And some massive news. If you are a Stormers fan, they have officially confirmed 15 exits from the Union at the end of the season, which will leave a rather big hole in the Stormers and the Western Province squads, albeit with a lot of the players leaving, um, but you know, most sort of fringe players, some big names, especially in the form of the like of Hachiba Daimani, who will be leaving the side. A youngster, Kate Bolter, for example, uh, now Blitzbox sort of sensation, Tristan Lates, as well as a couple of key players, all heading away from Cape Town and making moves away from the Stormers. Um, this was confirmed today on, uh, on on Tuesday with the Stormers releasing their official sort of thank you post uh, to bid these players farewell. It'd be very interesting to see where all these players land up. But more important, I think, for Stormers fans, who do they get replaced with and how does the uh, squad start to shape up for next season? Only time will tell. Um, but before we look at the, exactly all the names, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So there's been a lot of talk, especially about Achiba Diamani, for example, about some certain players uh, making their move away from the Stormers. Uh, Diamani has been linked, long linked, during the season with a move to a Racing 92, where he'll link up with the likes of Sia Khaleesi uh, and uh, would have been Trevor Nyakani, who's now moved back to Saka, going to the Sharks. But uh, yeah, so we could be seeing a loose share of Sia Khaleesi and Achiba Diamani over in France. Um, and I think it's a good move for Achiba Diamani. He's 26 years old. Playing brand, brilliant rugby, really is, but not on the spring mob radar at all. And for whatever reason it is, I don't think, you know, I think at the moment he sort of comes to terms with that's not going to change. You know, whatever Rassi Erasmus doesn't see in him, maybe it's not something that he can suddenly just find. And at the end of the day, when you're playing rugby like he is, you're not getting noticed, um, you know, in the spring box sense. Uh, he's got ambition and, um, you know, he wants to, to have a good career. Um, you know, he's a bit of a businessman, you know, he's got his sort of a batch of shoes, for example. So, uh, you know, a big money move to France makes a lot of sense for, for someone who, yeah, you know, has big ambitions. He's won it at the Storm. He's already won the URC, for example. Um, and I think he feels he's not really getting appreciated by Springbok um, coaches. So why not make the move and, and go play for in the richest league in the world, which I think is fair enough. Uh, to be perfectly honest. Another big player, um, which I'm sure John Dobbs will be sad to see go, is uh, loose forward Nama Kaba, who is very highly rated by John Dobbs. He thinks he's a springbok in the making, but can't stay fit. He just cannot stay fit. And uh, you know, I don't think it's, again, I think it's probably a good thing. Maybe a change of environment, for example. We often see this with, with some players who are injured, for example, a lot, and they kind of get themselves to a bit of a hole. Sometimes a fresh environment um, just sort of reset them a little bit and they can sort of take on their, get their fitness going, play in a different type of team, a different type of structure where maybe it just might suit them a bit, a bit better. Uh, so he's one of the big players leaving, as is Junior Pocamela, who actually start, well, was in the 23, um, to, that won the URC final a couple of years ago when they played against the Bulls. Uh, he made his move from the Cheetahs in 2021, um, but it's kind of, again, sort of slowly fallen down the pecking order and hasn't really had a lot of, of game time. Uh, another big player is uh, Kate Bolleter, who is a very talented uh, fly half, but is just not going to get the game time. You've got Marnie Lieboff, for example. Sasha Feinberg and Mazzulli can barely get game time. Jean-Luc Duplessis seems to have come through. Um, you know, you've got uh, Sam Williams, who can obviously play at 10 as well. So there are plenty of options at 10 for the Stormers. And uh, a young player, very high talented, uh, the Bloemfontein uh, born and raised uh, fly half, uh, who made his return back to that, got to go to France initially. Uh, there was uh, rumours that he had signed for the Sharks, I mean, for the, for the Lions rather permanently. Um, and I assume this is based confirmation that that um, uh, move has gone through. Um, the other players are as follows. Uh, props, Lee, Marvin Mazdebuko, Leon Lions, as well as Quenzo Blossa. I think all three players who've played here and there, um, I just don't think I've really ever made uh, the step up. I think Leon Lions is probably maybe the most... Uh, surprising in terms of a player that had played relatively uh, large amount of game time. But again, they've added Stephen Kitts off into the mix. Steve Satole's moved there, for example. Um, they've got reasonable depth um, at prop. Uh, you then got uh, the likes of the centers, uh, Novel, as William Darber, Cornell Smith, and Chris Hollis once again, just game time. I think Cornell Smith's a very nice player. I'll be very keen to see where he goes. So William Darber as well, very talented player. But um, they're just not getting the game time, really, at Stormers, who I think probably have a squad that's too big, to be perfectly honest. Um, they then got uh, Chad Solomon, who's played a lot of rugby for Western Province. Maybe not as much rugby as he'd like for the Stormers. Um, the veteran, the scrum off, Godlin similar, who's fallen down the ranks with the likes of a Herschel Yankees, a, uh, a Stephen Ungary they signed, um, Paul DeVette, for example. So, again, also not really making, getting that game time. Um, Jared Taylor, Simon Miller. I'm also a little bit surprised about Simon Miller. I, I quite rate him. Um, and I think that he... 
you know, could take the next step up. Um, still uh, relatively young. I think he's like 22 years old, for example. Um, and, and so I think that he's, uh, he's a talented player. Um, I'm very, very keen to see exactly how, how, what, what, what he, uh, what he'll do in the next step. Uh, I think for me, he's somebody I'd like to look, uh, look, uh, keep an eye on. And then um, Jared Taylor as well, obviously, Ms. Alexander mentioned mention that. Uh, and then Tristan Lates, who has made the move to the sevens and is playing Blitzbox, and I think that'll be in full time. Uh, his first couple of tournaments, again, you know, he was a bit of a sensation. I do have a couple of reservations about him. I think he's going to take a while to adapt from a defensive point of view. And I think there's a lot to his game he needs to add in a sevens perspective, but uh, I do think he's more suited to sevens than he ever was. Uh, for 15s, unlike his his brother uh, Dylan, who's obviously been so fantastic for uh, La Rochelle and was a bit of a Stormers legend. Uh, which of those players are you really upset about? Uh, and more to the point, which of these players do you think that the Stormers might uh, miss the most? I think Dalmani obviously being the big one. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.